The Procrimp 1380 from AeroQuip is now available for simple, fast crimping of the most popular AeroQuip hose sizes and styles, including Matchmate Plus and Matchmate Blue. The Procrimp 1380 can be set up in any shop, garage, or work area where electricity is present to crimp one and two wire braid, four spiral 100R12, and many other hose styles offered by AeroQuip. The Procrim 1380 has a base part number of FT1380, which now replaces AeroQuip's FT1330 machine. Users of the FT1330 will be pleased to know that the dies from that machine are the same as the dies used in a similar one-piece cage for the Procrim 1380, so it will crimp the same fittings and hoses as the FT1330, up to 4-spiral-20 hose. Programmable electronic controls, including predetermined crimp settings and adjustable keypad entry found on this new machine, have simplified all aspects of the crimping process, reducing the steps and time it takes to complete a job, which saves you money. The standard work light and upright design make it easy to see the fitting during crimping. One-piece die cages and a foolproof die cage insertion method onto preformed slots save setup time allowing for fast cycle time. This videotape and your owner's manual are tools which will help you learn and appreciate the special features of the Procrimp 1380. Topics to be covered in this videotape include the loading, unloading, and lubrication of die cages, crimping procedures for various hoses and fittings, components of the electronic keypad, and maintenance of the Procrimp 1380 machine die cages. The crimp ring automatically stops before there is sufficient clearance between the cast pusher and the crimp ring to remove the die cage. This feature is referred to as the soft retract position and it is intended to minimize the crimping cycle time. To unload or load a die cage the crimp ring must be fully retracted referred to as the full retract position. When a die cage must be removed Simply press and hold the retract switch until the crimp ring retracts fully and stops at the full retract position. After the next hose fitting has been crimped, the crimp ring will once again automatically stop at the soft retract position. For maximum service life, the Procrim 1380's die cages require lubrication with never seize at 50 crimp intervals. Also, the die cages and crimp ring should be periodically cleaned of old never sees and re-lubricated. <music> crimping procedures. We'll start with a discussion of crimping using Matchmate Plus. Fitting and hose pre-assembly should be performed as described in the owner's manual. Select the right cage from the current AeroQuip crimp specification bulletin and slide it onto the cage holder slots. Now, enter the appropriate setting into the display. Then, position the fitting. Align the scribe line with the top of the die. Use of the locators found in the optional FT1330XL kit makes it especially easy to crimp all sizes of Matchmate Plus hoses. Next, depress and hold down the crimp switch. The crimp ring will continue to rise until the fitting is fully crimped. It will then stop and begin to retract. To shorten the cycle time for multiple crimp strokes, you can stop the retract of the crimp ring before reaching the soft retract position by simply pressing and releasing the retract switch once there is sufficient clearance to insert the next fitting. When you're ready to change die cages, depress and hold the retract switch until the crimp ring stops at the full retract position and remove the die cage. The assembly process for field crimp fittings, both barrel and flat, has not changed from the method used with the FT1330. For global sky fittings, first select the proper hose and socket nipple combination. The hose must be cut squarely to the proper length. Debris must be removed from the inside of the hose. Skive the outer cover to the proper length. 
Then place the socket over the hose outside diameter and fully insert the nipple into the hose inside diameter. As before, refer to the current AeroQuip crimp spec for proper skive length, die cages, and crimp diameter. Now, select the proper die cage and slide the cage into its holder slots. Determine the correct keypad setting, enter it, position the top of the socket 1 16th inch below the top of the die, then crimp the fitting by depressing and holding the crimp switch. Remember, you can shorten the crimp retract stroke by pressing and releasing the retract switch. This same process is used for spiral single sky fittings. Keypad. As you can see, AeroQuip's ProCrimp 1380 machine is fast and versatile. This is due in large part to the electronic controller. To enter a setting, press the Enter button. Then press three numeric buttons within five seconds. The display now shows the proper setting, and the FT1380 is ready to crimp. The display shows the three-digit setting, which determines the crimp diameter. The ratio of change is one to one. In other words, if a setting of 120 gives a crimp diameter that is 0.035 inches too large, decreasing the display by 035 down to 085 should decrease the crimp diameter by 0.035 inches. To store the number in the display as a preset, press the store button, then press any of the 10 numbered buttons for three seconds. When the green light next to the pressed button illuminates, that number has been stored to that button location. This means you can pre-program your 10 most common settings to further streamline the operation of the ProCrimp 1380. To recall a preset into the display, make sure the store and enter lights are off and depress the button where the preset was stored. The setting is now shown in the display. <laughs> Maintenance. All sliding surfaces of the ProCrimp 1380 machine must be kept free of dirt and other abrasive material. All exposed black metal surfaces should occasionally be coated with a light film of oil to prevent corrosion. The oil level in the fluid reservoir of the hydraulic power unit should be checked periodically and maintained at a level one inch below the top of the reservoir. The crimp ring should be fully retracted when checking the oil level. If necessary, add hydraulic oil. In addition to die cage lubrication at 50 crimp intervals, periodically clean the die cages and crimp ring to remove old lubricant, then re-lubricate these parts. The die cages themselves, at 1,000 crimp intervals or every six months, should be disassembled and cleaned of all grease and debris. The cage should be inspected for worn or damaged components. Finally, the cage should be reassembled and checked to ensure that all dies slide in and out freely. With proper care, AeroQuip's ProCrimp 1380 will provide fast, versatile, quiet, and efficient service for your AeroQuip hose assembly requirements. <laughs>